Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am in my mumu and I really don't care. So this video is going up, um, let's see, New Year's Eve, which I'm excited you guys for the new year. Um, and usually what I do for the New Year Day or New Year's Eve is I will post a video like about all the things that I accomplished in 2017, about goals that I have for 2018, and I just didn't want to do that this year. Um, raise your hand or give a thumbs up if you guys feel like this year, 2017, was just a very weird year. I don't know how to describe this year. I feel like there were a lot of lows. There were some highs, but a lot of lows. And I just feel like 2017 was just kind of weird. So I thought that I would do a tag video. Um, I'm going to be doing the 15 weirdest questions tag. I found this online and yeah, I just thought that it was something different um, and let's go for it. Um, so the first question is, what's a nickname only your family calls you? And I was like thinking about this and I really don't have nicknames. I mean, the only nickname that you could possibly call me is Angie. And um, for those of you who know me, I cannot stand it when people call me Angie. If they do, I like won't say anything to correct them. Um, but my close friends know that I hate that nickname, but I just wrote some down. Um, I don't know, my family members just call me Angela, or they call me Ange, Mom, Jay, uh, Miss Angela, Candle Lady. That's pretty much it. Question number two is, what is a weird habit of yours? Um, and I would say that probably the weirdest habit that I have right now is when I'm in a social setting, and this isn't really weird for me, but probably like weird for other people to, you know, be around me when this happens. But when I'm in a social setting and I like pull my phone out and say, oh, I have to take a picture of this or, oh, I have to record this for YouTube or whatever, like that's kind of weird for people. Um, I don't know if I would consider it to be a habit, but it's something that I do. Um, and also another weird habit of mine lately that's been happening is I have been falling asleep so, so early. So what I'll do is I'll come home, um, you know, from work, kind of chill, relax a little bit, do a little bit of work on YouTube. I'll have dinner. I'll try to chill a little bit more. I'll draw myself a bubble bath and then... By like eight o'clock, I'm in bed watching YouTube videos or in bed watching Netflix or whatever, and I literally just conk out. So I've been falling asleep super, super early, unfortunately. And um, then what'll happen is I'll like, like wake up at 11 o'clock and I'll be like, oh, you know, now what? So I'll just watch some more TV or whatever and then try to fall asleep. And then I don't know, it kind of like ruins my whole night, but I've just been so, so exhausted. Like when that seven to eight o'clock hit, um, so I don't know, that's kind of a bad habit that I've been getting into lately that I need to correct. So question number three is, do you have any weird phobias? And yes, I do have a weird phobia. So this one is kind of strange. So I kind of categorize this as um, like, oh, what is it called? Those conspiracy theories, like when Shane Dawson does all those conspiracy theories. By the way, I believe in every single conspiracy theory that he puts out there. And I think he's coming back with more videos with conspiracies because I'm just all about it. But anyway, um, the weird phobia that I have is I constantly, constantly feel like I'm being watched. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, even if I'm in my own home, I feel like like I'm being watched or listened to, uh, whether it be if I'm talking on the phone and I feel like my phone is tapped constantly all the time. I'm hearing like little clicking noises or something and I feel like somebody is listening in. Um, when I'm taking a bath or a shower, I'm constantly looking at the vent that is facing me thinking that somebody put a camera in the vent and they're like watching me. Like when I go out in public, I'm always watching my back because I feel like somebody is literally constantly watching me at all times. So 
I guess that's like a weird phobia that I have. Question number four is, what's a song you secretly love to blast and belt when you're alone? Um, the only one that I could really think of was like Wonderwall by Oasis, or I have written down here Closing Time um, by Semisonic, I believe is like the band or whatever that they're called. I love those kinds of songs. When they come on my Pandora, I always just like chill, relax, and sing. And then, I mean, obviously, I also love a good Britney. Um, but yeah, I'm like all about that. Um, let's see, number five, what's one of your biggest pet peeves? I actually wrote down a lot of pet peeves here. Um, my first one is lying. And especially like lying when there's really no need to. I like... It, it just makes my skin crawl when somebody lies and I catch them in a lie and like the lie wasn't even really justified. It was like a lie that like, like why did you lie? You know what I mean? Like you didn't really have to go like that extreme. And I always like tell everyone, you know, don't lie to me because the truth always comes out and I will always find out in the end. So lying is a big one. Um, another thing is taking something um, like out of the refrigerator and using it or the cupboard and then putting it back and it's gone. Like that literally drives me insane when like there's just a sip of almond milk or something left or like somebody will put a bag of chips back and there'll be like one little chip left in the in the bag and it's like what's going on that is so annoying. Uh, question number six is, what's one of your nervous habits? And my biggest nervous habit is biting my nails. I was a nail biter ever since I can remember. I was little, my nails were always bit down to the core. Um, I still struggle actually to this day. Like if I get like a little nick in my nail, I'll, I'll, try not to like take it all the way down because I feel like if one nail is down then I have to like nervously like pick at the other nails I don't know I'm like a finger picker a nail biter like all of that um another thing that I put down as a nervous habit is I can't eat when I'm stressed or nervous but almost to the point where it's like bad so like if something really bad is going on in my life or whatever I like won't eat at all and I'll just be like I don't know, so stressed that I don't know why I associate me being unhappy or stressed with food, but I just, I can't eat at all. Um, let's see, number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? I sleep on the right side. I can't sleep in the middle. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I always end up on the right side of the bed. So that's kind of weird. And this is so weird too. Like when I, um, was with my kid's father, I was on the left side of the bed. And ever since like that relationship ended, I've always been on the right side. I don't know why it's just weird. Uh, number eight is what was your first stuffed animal and its name? I can't remember my first stuffed animal, but I do remember my first Cabbage Patch Kid. I believe I was in third or fourth grade, and I remember specifically her name was Alana, and she had brown pigtails and green hair, and I absolutely loved her. And she came from Michigan, and I was like over the moon that I got her because not everyone had a Cabbage Patch Kid, and I was lucky enough to get one. Number nine, what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? I always get um, a skinny Oprah's chai tea latte. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. And that's usually what I get unless there's like a new drink or whatever that I want to try. But that's like my signature drink. Um, let's see. Number 10. What's the one beauty rule that you preach but you never actually practice? I'm kind of embarrassed to talk about this, but... I always tell people to make sure that you wash your face before you go to bed and take like all your makeup off. And spoiler alert, I probably do that 50% of my life. So if I wash my face before I go to bed, that's great. If I don't, I don't. Um, I know it's like a horrible, horrible thing to not wash your face before you go to bed, but like sometimes I'm so tired, I just like fall asleep. Um, Number 11, which way do you face in the shower? And this was like a weird question, I thought, which 15 weird questions, whatever. But like when I'm putting shampoo in my hair, I always face the water. When I'm putting conditioner in my hair, I face the water. 
when I'm putting soap on the loofah, I face the water. But when I wash my body, my back is to the is to the streamed water. Um, and obviously when I'm rinsing off or whatever, my back is I, so weird. So like, I don't know, I just turn around and around and around and I'm just washing. Weird question. Number 12, do you have any weird body skills? Um, I used to be double jointed in my hands. I'm not real sure if I am or not anymore, but I used to be able to like do this thing and I I don't know if I can do it anymore, like this thing. And I think like everyone can do this, right? Like this isn't something crazy, I don't think. Um, but yeah, and I don't know if that makes you double jointed. And then I can also take my thumb and like put it all the way down. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I can put it all the way down so it touches. And I don't know if that's double jointed or not. Um, but yeah, otherwise... No, I don't have anything weird that I can do with my body. Number 13 asks, what's your favorite comfort food that's bad for you um, that you love to eat anyway? And I just put anything sweet or um, I've really, really been loving Domino's pizza lately. I always have it like for a cheat meal or whatever and I will get... Um, let's see, what do I get? I get the pizza, just regular hand tossed with extra cheese, sausage, mushrooms, onions, and peppers. And also when I order on the app and I say extra cheese, there's like a little space where you can like put a note. So I always leave a note and I say, we live in Wisconsin, so give me extra Wisconsin cheese. Um, and they always just like pile it on there. Number 14, what's the phrase or exclamation that you always say? I always say, oh no. I always say that. I don't know why I always say that. I don't know where I got that from, but I always say that. Or I say, um, thank you kindly, or are you kidding me um or my newest like little phrase or saying that i say is just give it to god like if i'm stressed out or whatever i always say just give it to god or or um i have my little bell with me and i say ring for jesus ring for jesus i say that as well and Let's see, number 15, um, time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Well, this is why I wore my mumu in this video is because this is what I look like before I go to bed, if I still have my makeup on or whatever. This is, this is me, this is what I'm wearing, this is my life. Like if you were in bed with me and rolled over, this is what you would see, me in my mumu and it always has to be like a long mumu like I don't like the little ones that come like above the knee only in the summertime but like in the winter time I'm in long sleeve mumu living my life under all my blankets I know some people sleep in the buff but I um, love to be fully covered because I am a lady of the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great New Year's Eve. Um, this is going to be posted in the morning on New Year's Eve. So if you guys are going out tonight, please, please, please be careful. Please be responsible. Do not drink and drive. If you are doing other things, do not do those other things and drive. Um, be responsible. Call an Uber. Make sure you have a driver available for you. And I hope everybody has a great new year. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications. And I will see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.